Right now it's in the <laughs> We'll have a look inside the meeting. And a man accused of attempted homicide was released from jail just two days before police say he shot his ex-girlfriend. You're watching WKDT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 6. Good evening and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 6. I'm Ken Kozarowski. A local real estate company, construction business, and hospital are teaming up with an architectural firm to talk about the future of a lacrosse neighborhood. This is a live look now at a community workshop held by architectural firm ISG in Board Construction and Mayo Clinic Health System. The focus is on the near south side neighborhood area. The city of lacrosse is not involved in the meeting. After a power outage last month postponed the meeting, the company is here now talking to the public and getting feedback. According to ISG's website for this group, they want to build a shared vision for future development. They say they want to add housing, more green space, and better access to food. This meeting runs until 7 tonight at Lincoln Middle School. We will have more from the developers coming up tonight at 10. Let's switch it up and talk some weather. It's kind of the calm before the storm because le uh, later this week, Bill, it's going to get all wintry up in here. Yeah, really, uh, the concerns don't begin until uh, later tomorrow evening. or tomorrow uh, run errands or make appointments you should be fine and uh, today wasn't too bad we had some light leftover precipitation but high temperatures above freezing for most uh, 33 in Preston to 41 in Boscobel in fact it was the uh, ninth day in a row above average and 14 of the uh, 17 days have been above average for those high temperatures uh, out at the lacrosse airport all right here's the concern heading into tomorrow night a winter storm watch remains in effect for uh, most of our area. Snow develops Wednesday evening and most of the accumulating snow will fall overnight Wednesday and then some lighter accumulations on Thursday. But storm totals right now, uh, most models indicating about four to eight inches, I think is a pretty good bet. Maybe a mix to the south and east though that could cut into those snowfall amounts just a little bit uh, in those locations. And we could see some isolated higher totals just to the north and west of La Crosse. So plan on travel impacts again tomorrow night and Thursday. Right now we've just got cloudy sky uh, maybe a few flurries up north and west of Eau Claire. If those survive, some of you may see those. Otherwise, uh, just clouds as that system is moving out uh, that produce the rain over the past, uh, say, day and a half. Current temperatures, upper 20s to mid 30s for most, including 35 here in La Crosse. Mainly cloudy tonight, not all that cold. With lows in La Crosse around 30 degrees, our average low is uh, 10 degrees. So hard to complain about that. I'll have many more details on that uh, snow for tomorrow night and Thursday coming up. All right. Thanks very much, Bill. Switching gears back to news, a man accused of shooting a woman in Chippewa Falls had a restraining order against him and was released from jail on bond just two days before the shooting. 31-year-old Joshua Mago is in police custody with police charges of first-degree attempted homicide and five other charges. Police say the woman who was shot was in the house with two small children watching TV when Mago, her ex-boyfriend, walked in and pointed a gun at her. The woman and her roommate got the children into another room before Mago allegedly shot her. By the time police arrived, he was gone. Two hours later, while police were searching, Mago called from a pizza hut and said he wanted to turn himself in. Police found the gun near the house. Mago was in police custody earlier this month on misdemeanor charges, but posted $500 cash bond on Thursday the 12th, while the shooting happened the night of Saturday the 14th. A 17-year-old from Lewiston is in the hospital with life-threatening injuries after a head-on crash with a school bus. The accident happened just after 6 this morning in Winona County. The 17-year-old was the only person in his car when the collision happened. A 43-year-old Winona man was the only person in the school bus at the time. That bus driver is sent to Winona Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The Winona County Sheriff's Office and Minnesota State Patrol are currently investigating that crash. In Madison today, the Senate met for an unusually early floor session. Both sides of the aisle are working to meet a deadline to get questions on the April ballot. The April election typically has low turnout, but Democrats and Republicans are trying to boost that turnout by adding other issues to the ballot. Democrats rolled out a plan to add an abortion referendum. Governor Evers criticized GOP lawmakers. They continue to act like there's room for compromise when it comes to restoring the constitutional rights and freedoms of Wisconsinites had for almost 50 years before those freedoms were taken away from them in one fell swoop. 
Now, last fall, the Republican-controlled legislature rejected a call from the governor for a vote to repeal that 1849 abortion ban. They also rejected a move to let voters force a vote on the ban. Also today, state senators voted to approve a constitutional amendment that would change bail rules. The amendment would make it harder for criminal defendants to get out of jail on bail. State law requires two consecutive sessions to approve a proposed constitutional amendment before it goes on a ballot for voters to approve it. And today, the amendment passed most on party lines with some Democrats joining Republicans in voting yes. Still ahead tonight, taking care of kids' mental health. A new partnership is bringing experts directly to kids in case they need some extra support. And crisis care for veterans. Starting today, vets in a mental health crisis can go to any emergency room to get immediate treatment for free. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Don't need glasses. See us for your contacts and save on your annual supply. Wow. Lumber has gone up again. And I've heard the real estate market is unbelievable, too. We really need to remodel our bathroom, but I don't know if prices are reasonable. Well, I heard that Mad City has a price lock guarantee. Price lock guarantee? Really? With Mad City Baths Price Lock Guarantee, schedule a free estimate now for your new bath or shower and lock in your price guaranteed for one year. Plus, it's our winter half-off labor event. Receive 50% off installation with 24 months, no interest, no payments. Senior and military discounts, plus a bonus. The first 50 homeowners who call during this program will receive a vacation voucher with purchase of a new bath or shower. Use for a condo, hotel stay, or a cruise. From La Crosse, Eau Claire, and Western Wisconsin, call 715-941-1303. That's 715-941-1303. Right now with Papa Murphy's, we've got a great deal. Which means I make more great pizza. Like our 9.99 XLNY pizza. It's everything you'd expect from a classic New York-style pizza, hot and fresh out of your oven. Order now at PapaMurphy's.com. When you rent a Culligan water softener, there is no down payment or maintenance costs. Imagine all you could do with the savings. <laughs> Dive into better water. Contact your local Culligan water dealer. What you see is important. That makes quality eye care important too. Get personalized care from experienced optometrists at Shopco Optical. Better eye care. You'll see. Shopco Optical welcomes more insurance plans than ever. Call to book an exam and verify coverage. Welcome back. A partnership between Mayo Clinic Health System and La Crosse's Boys and Girls Club is helping kids get help right when they need it. It's been in place for seven years and now it's expanding its reach. News Day Now's Emily Haugen explains why they say tackling mental health at an early age matters. This community partnership hopes to expand its mission of meeting kids where they are. We all deserve a spot to connect. You can do projects, watch movies, a whole lot of stuff. Get to be free and be myself. We also deserve a place to feel heard. It's like pressure that's leaving you because you know there's someone that always has your back. For Mackenzie, Zanaya, and hundreds of other kids, mental health services at the Boys and Girls Club give them both. They go through hard things in life that can make it hard to reach their full potential and that's why I do what I do, to help unlock their potential. Lakita Becker has spent seven years working directly with the kids. So I think we're seeing more anxiety and depression symptoms, um, more behavioral concerns, and even more substance use in our youth population. And so I think these roles are crucial more now than ever. Becker and other youth and family specialists bring necessary care to the Boys and Girls Club. Well, mental health is critically important for the health of our communities and we want to start with youth. A focused mission now with Becker at the helm. How can we identify kids who are struggling sooner because the sooner you can identify them the sooner you can get them connected to the resources and support that they need. Forming connections when and where it matters. Becker hopes to eventually have a specialist present in every club. In the Boys and Girls Club I'm Emily Haugen for News 8 Now. All right, thanks very much, Emily. And the three specialists and Director Becker are Mayo employees who work alongside kids at the club. These services don't put any added cost on those member families. 
Well, starting today, veterans in suicidal crisis can go to any VA or non-VA healthcare facility to get free emergency treatment. This policy expansion also includes free inpatient or crisis residential care for up to 30 days and outpatient care for up to 90 days. And veterans don't have to be enrolled in the VA system to use it. It's all part of the VA and Biden administration's efforts to reduce veteran suicide rates. The director of Great Rivers 211 says veterans now won't have to worry about the financial cost of seeking help, and she says it could make the calls they receive even more productive. This will be an additional point of conversation that we can have with people that you don't have to wait to get into your VA center. You know, you can go to your local health care center and get support. Lundeen says both Gunderson and Mayo offer free support lines. Veterans can also dial 988 and press 1 for a suicide prevention hotline specifically for veterans. We have more information on this new nationwide policy at our website, news8000.com. Coming up after the break, Lacrosse is making some friends across the world. The city will sign on to add another sister city, this time from Luxembourg. And I'm Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl. A lot of our snow cover has disappeared because of recent rainfall and the milder temperatures, but it does look like we're going to replenish that snow cover this week. I'll have the details of my eight-day forecast after the break. Dr. Mehta knows pain. Oftentimes, I see patients with pain in their knees, their hips, their back, and it's actually coming from their feet. Her suggestion? It's as easy as going into a good feet store. Come in for your free arch support fitting. Mad City Baths takes the hassle out of bathroom remodeling with high quality American made baths and showers back to the lifetime warranty with quality installations in as little as one day. Great. I mean, you know, like I said, they explained everything to us. They came and, you know, on time when they said they were going to get the job done. So, you know, everything was was great. Mad City has more than 50,000 satisfied customers and we install year round. So call now. It's our winter half off labor event. Receive 50% off installation. Ask about our price lock guarantee and 24 months, no interest, no payments, plus a bonus. The first 50 homeowners who call during this program will receive a vacation voucher with bath or shower purchase. From La Crosse, Eau Claire, and Western Wisconsin, call 715-941-1303. That's 715-941-1303. Wisconsin. It's easy to take for granted how we warm up, but what if you couldn't warm up so easily? For many, it's a reality they can't ignore. Working families, elderly, disabled, and veterans struggling to keep their heat and power on in the dangerous cold of winter. If you or someone you know needs a hand up, our energy, water, and emergency rental assistance providers are working together to keep you safe in your home. No one deserves to suffer when we can help each other. You've got a plus service for movies, plus a few plus services for your favorite TV shows, plus a few extra, plus all those pluses add up. I guess that's why there's so many. How about a plus service that's free, plus gives you local news, plus weather, plus sports, plus a little extra. News 8000 Plus, the plus service that's everything local, plus it's free. Plus, it's easy to find on any of these. Plus this. Anyone, anywhere can record crimes as they happen, and we're going to watch them right here. Watch iCrime. Days at 11 on My 8. There's no telling what the next Wisconsin Lottery Scratch Game will bring.
match of the day. This $3 game really shakes things up. If your shake matches the shake needed for that same day, you could win up to $30,000. Instant scratch games from the Wisconsin Lottery. Odds are you'll like them. Gary knows golf. You need to have good balance, good support. Where to find that support? Two words, the good feet store. How many words is that? <laughs> Swing by for your free arch support fitting. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Lacrosse is making close ties with friends from across the globe. Starting tomorrow at noon, Mayor Mitch Reynolds will make Lacrosse's sister city friendship with Young Linster Luxembourg official. Young Linster will be Lacrosse's eighth sister city, and it will also be the first time Lacrosse has done a virtual signing of a sister city document. Now, the public is welcome to attend this meeting in person at City Hall or to stream it virtually. You know, we've arrived at the uh, middle of January, and since we're in Wisconsin, you would expect to look outside and be used to seeing snow on the ground. We haven't had that recently with these mild temperatures, but, Bill, that's going to change in just a couple of days. Or wet than white across the uh, area with uh, more rain events than snow events. But yeah, finally, we do have a uh, potential snowmaker around here. Uh, not tonight, not tomorrow. It's not until tomorrow night and Thursday. Of course, we'll detail that in just a moment. First of all, a quick check of the numbers from today 37 and 34. So uh, once again, with the cloud cover, not much temperature movement, but again, both numbers well above average 27 and 10 are average 56 and 30 below the records and just a couple hundredths of an inch of liquid on the uh, back side of that departing storm system uh, before the month of January 1.55 inches that is almost nine tenths above average here in La Crosse, or at least out at the airport. 35 degrees out at the airport with cloudy skies. 35 here at the station as well. A little bit of a breeze causing a wind chill of 29. Eau Claire, good evening to you folks. You're also at 35 degrees. Feels like 30 with a uh, west and northwest wind at 6 miles per hour. And with the uh, wet streets and sidewalks and those temperatures dropping below freezing, watch for some slick spots uh, this evening and overnight. Now current temperatures uh, lower to middle 30s, some 20s over the northern plains. 35 in Eau Claire, Black River Falls, Sparta, La Crosse all at 35, 33 in Viroqua and uh, 34 in Prairie du Chien. Skies are cloudy and a few spits and sprinkles north and west of Eau Claire. If those survive, a uh, couple of us might see those, but uh, that storm system from uh, the past 24 to 36 hours now spinning off to our east. But already waiting in the wings is another one down near the Four Corners area, and that's going to track into the Central Plains and then kind of hook its way up towards Chicago and Detroit. Favorable track for some accumulated snow north of that track. And of course, we're kind of bullseye in the center of that. In fact, take a look at the winter weather headlines. Uh, lots of winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories back to the west and uh, up through Nebraska and Iowa. And you can see La Crosse is right in the middle of the headlines locally. Still a winter storm watch. And again, uh, expect this to be upgraded to either a winter storm warning or winter weather advisories maybe on the edges as we head into tomorrow in advance of this storm system because it's not going to start impacting us until tomorrow night and Thursday. So here's the details. Winter storm watch for uh, most of our area, the exception Rusk County. That could change though. Uh, Wednesday night and Thursday, snow develops tomorrow evening, especially after about uh, say 7, 8, 9 o'clock. Uh, from southwest to northeast. Right now, many models are indicating anywhere from four to eight inches of snow possible with this storm system. That would be storm total. Now, a little bit of a mix potential south and east that could cut into some amounts in that direction. And we could see some locally higher amounts, uh, but we'll fine tune that over the uh, next 24 hours and uh, definitely plan on travel impacts uh, for uh, that time frame. Now tonight, all is quiet, just cloudy skies. Again, maybe a few flurries and spots. Tomorrow will be fine. If you have errands to run or uh, appointments or anything out and about, you'll be fine. It's not until tomorrow evening. Here's six o'clock. You can see some snow showers starting to approach. Reaching La Crosse in the I-90 corridor, maybe around nine o'clock. Sky trackers indicating, and I agree. And then some heavier snow during the overnight. That's when a lot of the accumulating snow will occur. And then Thursday morning's commute could be a tough one with snow continuing. And then as we head through Thursday, some light snow accumulations during the day, and then that snow finally tapers and starts to shift to the east as we head into Thursday night. Now tomorrow, temperature-wise, uh, still above average, right around 33 to 36 degrees across the county. Uh, for tonight, or I should say southern portions of the viewing area, uh, 30s as well. And as we head back to the north, a uh, little bit chillier, but uh, boy, when our average low is 10 degrees and uh, our average high is only in the upper 20s, uh, not too bad with highs tomorrow in the lower 30s. So for tonight, Tonight, mainly cloudy, not all that cold, 30 for the low, that's 20 degrees above average. 
for tomorrow. Cloudy but dry during the day. Uh, 36 for the high and that snow developing tomorrow night and into our Thursday. So tomorrow night, an alert night, Thursday, an alert day due to travel impacts from that accumulating snow. Uh, dry but mostly cloudy Friday and Saturday. Uh, highs back in the 20s and then some slight chances for light snow showers or flurries on Sunday, Monday and Tuesday. Highs in the upper 20s to around 30 degrees. So uh, again, keep an eye on that forecast and we'll fine tune the expected amounts, but definitely expect some travel impacts overnight tomorrow night and throughout the day on Thursday, especially Thursday morning. All right. Thanks a lot, Bill. Okay. Coming up next in sports, some great nominees making the cut for our News 8 Now Play of the Week. Plus, the offseason drama begins again for the Packers, although does it does it ever really stop for the four-time MVP? Will Aaron Rodgers be under center in Green Bay next season? That's the big question. Rob has that and more next in sports. Continual growth brings new opportunities at the Board Store Home Improvements. Now hiring carpenters, window and door installers, floor or tile installers. Apply today. If you're stuck between choosing to spend on a vacation or finally updating your bathroom, with Mad City Baths, you can do both. For a limited time, 50 homeowners will receive a vacation voucher for a condo, hotel, or a cruise with bath or shower purchase. Mad City Baths installs high-quality baths and showers in as little as one day, infused with microban antimicrobial protection. Update your bathroom for the new year and during our winter half off labor event, receive 50% off installation. We install year round and remember with our price lock guarantee, we'll guarantee your price for one year. Plus 24 months, no interest, no payments, senior and military discounts and last chance to call during this program. The first 50 homeowners will receive a vacation voucher with bath or shower purchase. From La Crosse, Eau Claire, and Western Wisconsin, call 715-941-1303. That's 715-941-1303. In the Northland, the future belongs to everyone. So we created the all-time best-selling SUV for everyone, Ford Explorer. With an available 3-liter EcoBoost V6 engine that delivers 400 horsepower in one stylish package. Because the SUV of the future is made for the Northland. Ford Explorer. Drive one today. Now get 0% financing for 36 months on Ford Explorer, Edge, and Escape. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. What fireplace have you always envisioned in your home? Let La Crosse Fireplace Company turn your empty space into something beautiful. We'll design more than just your heat and glow fireplace. We'll help you pick out the perfect stone, mantle, and hearth. Making your heat and glow fireplace the vision you've always dreamed of. Isn't it time you've got the space you've always wanted? Visit our showroom or call La Crosse Fireplace Company to get started. La Crosse Fireplace Company, because your place is by the fire. Your day's last look and your first look at tomorrow. News 8 now at 10. Amy and Ken wrap up the day's stories and Chief Meteorologist Bill Grawl helps you plan your tomorrow. Every night, right here or here at 10. Covering all of the exciting action from your community, here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. For the first time in four years, the Packers will not be one of the eight teams left standing when the divisional round kicks off this week. And instead, the focus is already on the offseason. And for Packers fans, the main question is becoming somewhat of a yearly tradition at this point. Will Aaron Rodgers be under center for Green Bay moving forward? For the third straight year, the Packers season coming to a heartbreaking conclusion on their home turf. Green Bay missing the playoffs for the first time since 2018. And now the focus shifts to their quarterback situation. The questions about Aaron Rodgers' future have already begun in Green Bay. And after today's appearance on the Pat McAfee show, the confidence is still there. But Packers fans are going to have to wait for a clear-cut answer from the four-time MVP. Do I still think I can play? Of course. Of course. Can I play at a high level? Yeah. The highest. I think I can win MVP again in the right situation. Um, Right situation, is that Green Bay or is that somewhere else? I'm not sure. Like I said, during the season, it's got to be, you know, both uh, both sides, uh, you know, like actually wanting, you know, to work together moving forward. Rodgers is scheduled to make more than $58 million in 2023. Shifting gears to the hardwood, the Wisconsin men's basketball team returns home tonight. Badgers desperately needing a win to get back on track. Wisconsin open conference play a perfect 3-0, but since that point, the Badgers have dropped three straight. 
most recently falling over the weekend in Bloomington to the Hoosiers. Wisconsin back at the Kohl Center tonight to take on Penn State. Tip-off scheduled for 7.30. Badgers hoping to break that three-game skid. Now it's time for my favorite segment, Play of the Week. It's our chance to put the spotlight on some of the best athletes throughout the Cooley region. Let's get right to the nominees. And what a week it was. Number one comes on the ice Monday night. Cooley Region girls in action. West Salem senior Jaden Hammes. Two smooth Cyclones get the 4-2 win. Number two, let's go to the hardwood. What a weekend for GET's Cody Schmitz. The junior doing it all in downtown lacrosse. Midwest Players Classic, Schmidt showing off the strength, showing off the range. The junior dropping a game high 25 against La Crescent. Number three, staying at the Lacrosse Center on Alaska's been dominant. TJ Stutley, a big reason why. Number five, showing out, throwing it down over the weekend. Hilltoppers are red hot. They'll be taking on this squad Friday night. The Riverhawks led by Bennett Freed, the senior, doing it all this year, making it rain and rocking the rim. Freed with a game high 18 against Sparta. Some great plays this week to vote for your favorite. Just go to news8000.com slash vote. We'll have the results at 10. That's going to do it for sports. We'll be right back. Stories are told on our Instagram at WKBT News 8. Or you can always find us at news8000.com. Stop losing money through your old windows. At Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions, we don't only have the style of window you want, we have the type of window you need. Look at the difference between our windows and our competitors. Our triple pane windows with foam help reduce energy costs, outside noise, and improves condensation resistance. Keep your hard earned money. Call Clear Choice Window and Home Solutions today. For a limited time, receive a free triple pane upgrade on select windows and 60 months interest free financing. My case was very complex, and I knew that with Schwebel, Getz, and Sieben, um, I had picked the right advocate. I had complete confidence in Allie Sieben, my attorney. She was there with me, helping me through every step of the way. I would 100% recommend Schwebel, Getz, and Sieben to someone who has had an accident or a personal injury. They were my superheroes. Call Schwebel, Getz, and Sieben, or visit us at schwebel.com for a free consultation. Are you ready to make a change in the new year? At your home improvement company, we can help you turn your resolution into a reality. For bathroom remodels and energy efficient windows, our team of experts can help bring your home improvement dreams to life. Act now for 10% off your entire project and get our great financing of 2.99% or zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2025. So call or go online today and let's make your new year's resolution a success. Happy new year from your home improvement company where it's your home made better. Mainly cloudy tonight, maybe a few spits and sprinkles or flurries, uh, primarily up to the north. Most of us stay dry, not all that cold either. Lows uh, between about 23 uh, three and 31 degrees, right around 30 in the cross. Our average low is 10. Again, that winter storm watch tomorrow night and Thursday. Snow develops tomorrow evening, probably after about 8 o'clock or so here in the cross. Uh, much of the snow falls overnight and into Thursday. Four to eight inches of snow possible in many areas, so plan on travel impacts. Of course, we'll fine tune this forecast over the next uh, 24 hours. All right, sounds like a plan. Thank you, Bill, and thank you for joining us tonight at 6. Hope to see you at 10.